just kicked something. I don't know what that was, but uh, anyways. <laughs> so welcome back to GBTV. My name is Ginger. I am a previous former adult film actress. Um, I'm not going to give the name because to be quite honest, I if I wanted people to go and watch a lot of that content, I wouldn't have changed my name. So <laughs> no, I know people are going to see it. The people who have been here, you know. The people who are new here, hi, hello. Um, just again, out of respect, please don't, you know, if I'm not giving the name, please don't list the name in the comments. I kind of want to be known for the content I'm doing now and what I'm going to do in the future. You know, there's really no reason to leave, you know, my previous persona in the past other than it's just not who I am at this point. It represents a lot of things that I don't currently believe in and I don't stand by. And, you know, ultimately it's just, there's a lot of things that are tied to that persona that I just, I don't, I don't want people to be directly relating with, uh, to me in the modern day and age. So first things first, I want to point out that we finally have a big whiteboard. Woo! How fun! Look at this thing. It's as big as I am. I'm so tiny. Uh, we finally have a big whiteboard, and we also have this gorgeous thing. Whoa! I can't show the actual wheel because some of the stuff on it's a tad inappropriate. But, <laughs> but we have a spinny wheel now, and we have a whiteboard, so I'm really, really excited about that. Also, I'm sure you can kind of see behind me, we have some wall situations going on, and on top of that, the background's not dark. What? Ginger, you never used backlights. Oh, I've learned some light theory. How about them apples? So today, as the title has said, I decided that I'm finally uh, ready to talk about why I left the adult per pro adult side of the industry, why I'm no longer doing what the mainstream loves to call porn films. Um, just ultimately why I'm, I'm not doing them anymore. We'll probably never do them again, at least not on that side. Again, there's a, a small handful of studios that I would consider it. You know, the kind of cons of the industry and kind of how it can weigh on you and ultimately like why I ended up leaving. I hope that this can be informative for my fans who are still here, who are supporting both my mainstream and my adult content, um, to understand why I left. Be more mindful about the content that you consume. I hope that's that's always a goal when I talk about things like this. You know, be more mindful about what you're allowing yourself to consume and the ideals that you might uh, subconsciously be uh, giving yourself as a result, as well as the uh, the models that you support and. Um, you know, just, just, and I also hope like the, the other models who may be newer, who may be seeing this, um, I hope you can take this with a grain of salt um, and, uh, you know, take this as a bit of advice because I do wish, you know, I'd had kind of like a big sister type when I first got into the industry and I do kind of hope to be at least a little bit that for you. I, I kind of have joked about that. I'm like everyone's big sister. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so, uh, Oh yeah, YouTuber stuff. So <laughs> if you like this video and you want to see more or you just think I'm cute and you like my cactus shirt, be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell icon even though it does absolutely nothing. Um, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you give the video a thumbs down, then you're a stinky binky dinky doo. And uh, we don't sit with stinky dinky binky boos, okay? I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. But seriously, go leave a thumbs up because I adore you. Those of you who give me a thumbs up, I love you. You're great. Also, be sure to comment below what your thoughts are on this video or whatever. Comment whatever crap you want to comment as long as it's not super rude and as long as it's not very inappropriate for this platform. Have a great old time. Okay. So, reason number one why I ultimately left the industry really kind of has to come down to the uh, the nature of the industry and I kind of want to put it out there that um, I'm not calling out any one studio I'm not calling out any one company any one agent any one model or anything like that in this video this is my personal experience and I feel like as an industry like we get shit on so much so I understand why people can be protective about it but the reality is like we have to tell the truth and 
telling the truth and being honest about the bad parts of it are the only way we can kind of face those issues and potentially fix them for people coming in. And it's also a way that we can be aware of them so we can protect the people who could potentially be exploited within the industry. And another note I want to make is that a lot of these issues are not only issues within adult, they're also issues in mainstream Hollywood. They're not solely porn issues, they also have to do with just media in general and viewing people and actors as commodities. So that being said, uh, a lot of the issues that I'm going to be talking about today are also things that are happening in Hollywood and there is proof coming out about that. We've had the kind of Me Too movement within the adult industry and within Hollywood around the same time. Um, and I may make another video talking about that, but this is this video. So it's surrounding the culture of the industry and the inability to kind of speak out when things go wrong. That's what kind of goes on. Um, when you are spoken to or treated uh, in a way that is not acceptable by another actor or by um, a producer or by an agent, it either is something that very quickly becomes covered up or you're told it didn't actually happen or, you know, producers, you know, if it's about a producer, other producers who are doing the exact same thing you're calling out that one producer for will stop booking you and they'll use that as leverage on other producers, um, you know, that might be under them to also stop booking you. So you calling out a producer or an agent or whatever for shitty behavior could absolutely get you blacklisted from the, uh, from the industry to this day. Um, I also have an issue with a good majority of agents. I was with three agents during my time in the industry and one of them, for at least a good portion of the time that I was with them, I felt was a good agent. They made a lot of mistakes, and I'm gonna like shout out that one good agency real quick, and that was uh, Society15. Now, I don't feel like the decisions that they made, like there's a reason why I left, I don't feel like they made the right decisions near the end of my time with them, and as a result, sadly, I don't feel like it currently, they, they are as good as they had the potential to be. And that's what makes me really, really sad. They were the first agency that I was with who really seemed to care about me as a model. But the sad thing is they ended up not listening to us and you know, uh, one employee in particular that they chose to bring on who just wasn't doing what they needed to do. And um, it just ultimately spiraled. They lost several of their really good performers because of this and I was one of them. However, I will say out of all the agencies I was with, Society15 was the best about making sure I was comfortable, about not pushing me past my limit, about really making sure that I was happy with what I was doing, presenting me in the way that I wanted to be presented, um, and ultimately like helping me network. Um, they were really, really good about that. The other two I'm not going to talk about today, one, because I'm not trying to get uh, sued, but two, because I have nothing positive to say about them. Again, if you know who I am, you know my stage name, it's not hard to figure out the agencies that I was with other than Society15. Um, it's not hard to do your research in that regard. Um, if you are a model and you want to know personally, I do encourage you to message me, especially if you are a younger model, because one of these agencies purposely goes primarily after 18 year olds, and they are very exploitative. And I may make a whole video just on that uh, agency and the allegations behind them and how true they actually are and my experiences with that agency. So agents in general, I feel don't put the needs of the models or of the individual model of their career, of their health, of their safety. I don't feel like they put them first. They put money first and they have a very similar mentality to a lot of producers. Well, if you won't do it, I'll get a fresh 18 year old in here who will. And there's plenty of, uh, of agents who act like they're hunky-dory, they're cool, whatever, but they almost use that to gaslight you. And I had that issue with my last agent where they just really like, like they, they put it in such a, they, they reminded me of like, a, a, like the pastor's wife, like that was their approach. It was so like placating and it pissed me off because I was like, I'm not a child, don't talk to me like I am one, you know? Um, but ultimately they don't put the model's needs first and like when I first left I was in a very bad situation like very 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 bad and 
they kind of hit me up like straight up like you still owe us money and I was like dude like worst time possible to be a dick you know and it's it, I did end up paying people off you know like paying off my my dues over time but when someone has just lost everything and they're in a desperate medical situation and they're pregnant and they've come out about severe abuse and they're leaving their abuser and they're clearly in a desperate financial situation like that's the worst time to be an asshole as an agent to be completely honest so they were completely wrong in that regard but it, it doesn't really surprise me coming from the another thing that i had an issue with um is ultimately like the cattiness among a lot of the models there is a lot of cattiness and it's primarily like it's models who don't first of all you're we're not even in the same competition bracket so there's really no need to you know like they they seem to think you're trying to come for their crown that was my phone but like a lot of the girls who were just super super catty we were not in the same category we never likely would have been casted to to shoot the same type of scene so there's no case where I could have taken a scene from somebody or where I purposely would have. And in the industry, like I was never stepping on anyone's toes. Like I was never like purposely a dick to people. I tried to kind of stay out of trouble. And I remember, and this is a tip for people, when you're trying to decide who's actually telling the truth in, a, in an argument between models, like if someone's accusing someone of stealing or lying or being a piece of shit or whatever, look at the person who is talking shit the most on their social media so if a person is like kind of just doing their own thing and isn't even really collaborating a ton with other people is kind of just you know in their own bubble and has been from the beginning and doesn't talk mad shit about everyone doesn't name people by name all the time like you know what i mean look at that person versus the person who's accusing them but they're always talking shit about other people everything is always everyone else's fault and they never take accountability for anything and they're always complaining you know what I mean so I've kind of learned how to distinguish who's telling the truth just simply by a pattern of behavior I, I uh, hate the cattiness I'm like dude like I am the chillest person you could ever meet when it comes to that shit if you manage to piss me off you have done way too much <laughs> I'm just saying um, there's a lot of cattiness for sure. But yeah, I feel like in the adult industry, there's just really no way to fully be able to 100% be yourself. Um, again, and there's also this kind of culture of being so public with uh, certain things. I personally have stopped posting nudity or like I, even a lot of lingerie stuff is too much for me to post on my Instagram. Like if there's anything that could possibly you know, be on my OnlyFans, then it's probably not on my Twitter anymore. <laughs> or at the very least, it's very rare and it's a very select group of photos that I find to be acceptable. Um, and even the wording that I use, I'm very careful about. And the reason that I feel that type of way, and I do not judge anyone else who posts on Twitter, you know, who's explicit or whatever, because Twitter allows it, so clearly it's okay for Twitter, Twitter's saying it's fine. But my little sister followed a meme account that I also follow and that or followed they have since you know been deleted but that meme account liked a post of mine that was very explicit and so my sister was exposed to it and she told me about it and that tells me that not only was one minor that I'm related to like out of everyone who could have possibly because we didn't know we both followed the same account could have possibly seen something like that I think of how many other minors were potentially exposed to it because uh, an account even though I was shadow banned an account liked my tweet that minors followed so that's a big reason why a lot of that got purged off Twitter um, and will not be posted on Twitter um, and that's ultimately why my Twitter account is an influencer Twitter account but it's not a porn account that's something that I have had to like explain is straight up my Twitter is not a porn Twitter um, well, I do plan on, of course, putting more money, more time, and more effort into my YouTube channel here. Um, I have been trying more and more to figure out what to talk about because I feel like I struggle coming up with a topic, and once I come up with a topic, I'm good, but otherwise it's just a jumbled mess of who knows what. <laughs> 
Um, of course, my OnlyFans is staying up. Um, that is my main source of income right now. It is my main platform for creativity. Um, I'm very big into glamour photography, more Playboy type stuff, and that is kind of the direction we're heading is more high-end, glamour, sexy, like model type stuff, but very curated. Um, I'm not but ultimately, I do plan on starting on Twitch. I am currently streaming on MFC. Um, I am going to continue to make content, uh, both mainstream and not mainstream. Um, but no, I won't be going back to porn. Are there other things that could potentially be in the cards? Absolutely. You know, there are, you know, if Playboy would have hit, uh, were to hit me up, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, I would do Playboy. Like, are you crazy? But, you know, if, if it were, you know, to be reality kings, I would probably just straight up say no. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I love y'all. Like, most of y'all, but no, <laughs> no thank you. I appreciate it, but no thank you, not anymore. But ultimately, it's it's an adventure. We'll figure out what works. I'm not going anywhere. I don't plan on being out of y'all's faces. I'm gonna continue making shit. I don't know what that shit's gonna be. It's gonna be something. Y'all gonna keep seeing my weird cactus button downs. I'm probably gonna find one with, oh wait. Oh, I guess there are kind of succulents in here. I'm gonna find ones with mustaches all over it. You know, maybe that'll be a thing. Bows and weird button downs. That huge bisexual energy. I don't know. If you like this rambling and you wanna see more of whatever the fuck this was, uh, be sure to click that subscribe button and leave a like and uh, leave a comment with uh, what you thought was the most surprising thing and uh, start a conversation with each other. Just be nice about it. You know, don't be rude, it's not cool. Uh, also, make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Uh, every single one of them is uh, at Gigabyte TV, and uh, those are going to be below. Uh, as well, be sure to check out my website if you were over 18. Um, of course, should be should be you know warranted, but um, but that's GigabyteTV.com. That will also be below. And uh, yeah, so I love you guys very, very much. Uh, sorry, I know I'm all over the place, but you know, what else would you expect from uh, my ADHD ass? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, anyways, I love you guys very, very much, and uh, I'll see you next week.